Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. As you can see, I'm doing bunny ear scrunchies. I know I already did this in my last video, but this is just the single style and it's the voiceover, so hopefully a lot of you will find it useful. To make this scrunchie, you will need some fabric, some elastic, and your basic sewing tools. So first of all, we'll need a piece of paper to make the template for the bunny ears. The measurements are 6 inches by 3 inches. We'll fold it in half and then fold it in half again to find the middle line. Sketch a line to mark 1.5 inches from one side. And then mark 2.5 inches from the other side. Connect the points by drawing curves as shown. This fabric I'm using is a cotton material. So as I mentioned before, the strip of fabric for the scrunchie itself measures 20 inches by 4 inches. And we'll also need two pieces of fabric for the bunny ears, each measuring 12 inches by 4 inches. I'm just putting the right sides facing each other and fold it in half and then draw our pattern on it. Now that we've got all our pieces, we can start sewing. If you're using your sewing machine, then this shouldn't take much time. I'm going to start with the scrunchie. All I'm doing is folding the fabric in half with the wrong sides showing. I'm folding this over so the raw edges won't show when I close the scrunchie later. I'm going to start from the very top and sew along the length with about a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm closing the scrunchie this way because the Bunny ears will cover the thread, but if you're interested in other styles of closing a scrunchie, then check out the links I've left in the description box. The next step is to flip the tube with a stick or a safety pin. Now we thread our elastic through with a bodkin or a safety pin. Tie the two ends together or sew over them a few times. Tuck the side with the raw edges under the side with the folded edge, making sure that the tube is not twisted. Then sew a straight line down as close to the edge as possible. Now put the bunny ear pieces together with the right sides facing each other, then secure with some pins or clips.
and sew around the edges, leaving a small gap so we can turn it inside out. I'm going to start sewing right where I want the gap to be. Cut the excess fabric and make a few snips to reduce bulk. Use the stick to push out edges. At this step, I would use an iron to press it out. I've skipped it here, but I did do it after the video. I wouldn't worry about the gap because it'll be tied in with a scrunchie. Now tie the bunny ears around where the seams are on the scrunchie. And that is how I make bunny ear scrunchies. Thank you so much for watching and I Thank will see you, you in watching. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. See you in the next video.